ESL1 finals, EG, their second time appearing here, but no 22-0. You couldn't ask for a better venue. Zoned out really by one S4, trouble in the middle. Goro gonna tether himself in, but then again, S4 wants to have a crack at the funny boss still on cooldown. Oh, really low to well. He's gonna go down. S4, Owie, he can't reach him in time, so S4 will... Ooh. Caught the Fissure, might be able to block him enough time. They embrace the male, but S4 is waiting. One more second on that lightning bolt. Zyzeri dropping low for the lightning bolt. They are climbing. S4 is able to get the kill over from Lestrak, but it's tip for tower. That looks like he's not going to give it a shot. Not while the Radiant Creep Wave is still in force. Middle lane, S4, stun on him. There's a Fissure from PBE to set up, and some male just makes it look easy with the lightning bolt. Two deaths or just lucky. Poor Universe, man. They are putting S4. so much pressure. Again, the Fissure. This time, though, the Lashrax don't come follow in time. And in fact... Yeah, there it is. Rando kill on top. Not really Rando. Refresh up both of the bottles. In fact, Zai, now with a shot. Some mail. They snowball in. Some mail's in trouble, but not dead yet. The pulse Nova ripping through Zai's life. Kuro's keeping him alive from down in the river. And then maybe they can actually turn this. EG. They know how to efficiently move across the map and come up with a bad trace. Now middle lane, lightning, follow-up stun. S4's in real trouble. The pulse Nova, Kuro could not keep him alive. And that's just a good kill from EG. Haven't they're hovering around, but they're not actually having a look in. Went to Wyvern could potentially just ice burn up, but yep, with the god strength available and the mask of madness already Seeker have taken Roshan. EG coming out. The shards cannot catch PPD. Like Seeker just kind of outplaying you can see PPD. He's walking up the hill. He doesn't want to come this way. The Shah's the Fissure. He gets three with the Totem Stop. He's got Echo Sam available too. Can't get it off in time. Puppy Shadow Wave will be able to get the kill. Fissure up his hand of minus before he does anything else. They're losing the tier one tower and they can keep pushing. Gold Street has not been required to be used. Now middle lane, the shards fly out. The fortifications keeping that tier one tower alive for secret. And Fear wants it, but S4 snowball in. They with the walrus punch. They're trying to find this tick off, but Fear has the mech charge. Kuro will relocate himself and die with a fissure from DVD. Holds him there. The echo slam is not enough to keep enough space between Razor as well as the rest of Secret, but Samal comes in with a pulse Nova, going for Polly, but the Shadow Grace making it difficult. Owie will also arrive, Samal needs to finish the job, finally he will be able to do so. So it's a two for one trade off, PBD lucky to survive. Meanwhile on the north lane. Right, like he puts it aggressive, but not overly aggressive where he's in the range of the tower or potentially any of EG right away. RT's got to get out of here. No BKB charge. PPD starts oh. with a stun, but he blinks away just in time. They know he's in the tree line. Samel goes for the stun, hits it perfectly. RTZ will die. Nothing can save him. God strength, even commit the echo slam from PPD. A little bit of overkill. That would have been. They get the big one. That would have been so impressive if he had managed to actually TP away in time. That clutch blink dagger timing. Now it looks like they're gonna fight in middle lane already. Universe leading the charge here with the egg. His eyes right on top of but he's trying to kill it off. There's PPD with a stun. The Nova's about to crack. They're not in range to get the stun, but Universe means he can come back full life. They chase after S4. There's already two down. The Shallow Graves there, but more surprise than S4 will not survive this. PPD holds me with a stun, but the oh. finally got crashed. He gets time to get it off. It is a three and one on the sidelines at the moment have no radiant have no vision of this whatsoever in fact even s4 he's found that small little point where the ward doesn't see up to and now her shot is dead very very quickly oh yeah they have no no vision and no town a bottom tower you have to do something about this all right they must know a little bit more than they let on evil oh, you not actually cut off these heroes bottom Hoppy already getting stunned up at the same time zai being controlled up by fear already sold 112 points of damage Icarus dive in circles the only thing that can protect him while well, that's easy changing up to Owie, two hits oh, to bring no. it down. At the same time, Fia, so much stolen damage, 224 points of it. He can carve apart most of the secret team. He's already managed to take two with him and now can move over to Arteezy. No BKB. Still has the Aegis, but controlled up by the Fissure. They'll burn through him. The Plaza Field goes down and Fia's going to be ready. Or is he? He doesn't Samael. have BKB. Wait for the sun. The Echo Slam. Out of the nerve, the tether away over the great wave, just keeps running. Koro, 22 HP. The echo oh, the slam is going to be him up, but the air charges have got him. Oh, almost Still next bell. level escape. Look to middle lane. Zai's doing it. Yeah, he's, he's snowballing in, started with the glimmer cape. Support, relocate. Koro's bringing in Arteezy, but the yield set for up. Blink Daggers off cooldown, but Samal can't get out in time, and in fact will deny himself in front of the relocating secret. Up for he has to pick it up, but if they can find an opening target, 
Artizi just got to work on it. I know the crowd is already getting a little bit excited about the fact he can basically one hit an ancient step. Oh my god. They're actually going to try and solo Roshan. Look at that damage! This is Ow. actually a relocate Roshan play, and it catches EG out of guards here. They can't even get there in time. Maybe they can clean up one or two heroes. Oh, they lost the West, which means Artizi is done. Oh. He blinks up. A base of Fissure of PvD. Samal goes in right now for the task of the Yul to set up into the follow up stun. Zion does have Glimmer Cape as well as Cheese. Snowball for protection. He needs a target to come out to. Potentially just Glimmer and Cheese. And he goes down to Owie. No Cheese being used. No Glimmer. He'll just accept the fate. But mean top, meanwhile, Arteezy with the back of this double damage rune still has God Strength. And there is no. Actually, there is a fortification to save him. Koro, Shallow Grave. Samal's just chasing him down. Now the Yule Scepter. Koro refuses to die. Now he will. Back into all middle lane, Arteezy a long way down, nice, the 4 star from Estabelle will bring him up for some mail, turns on the pulse over, Arteezy turns for the stun, he's got two locked here, oh. Cleaves, Universe one more swing, can't get it up, he's in trouble, moving over towards Fear, because Universe was put under, the Aegis Demon will trigger him, there's no help coming to Arteezy, they burn him with a sun ray, and this is not a tan he asked for, he's gonna go down, evil geniuses defending Seeker as they aggressively push, someone on EG, because you don't have a yeah. BKB on fear. He did not go for the immunity. The Scythe of Ice would be a little bit better if maybe he had a blink dagger. And Samuel has got the four staff, right? So he doesn't have that full blink in instant stun. Oh, they're coming. Smoke. Where's the jump? S4 sitting on the back line. So they got Strat gives him the vision. PPD. One hit from RTZ with a stormball combo. They move over to Fear. And Static Link. Well, it is currently on RTZ. Oh, he's just around. The Nova drops. They need to get their vision up. But then again, you stormball is deeper. And yeah, she's top of RTZ. The stun from Fear. The UBS. It's a mail up in the air, it's more up the side for the chasing puppy into the tier 2 tower with the pulse dome of puppy. Shallow Grave will protect him and they will dive up for him. Puppy, it isn't going to last forever. Now he'll go down. Four loss from Secret. EG only losing their captain, who was the first casualty of that run out of here he goes into the tree line can shallow grave and tp out the sun's already gone maybe he can give it a shot no nope. the damage the no. damage the fissure is there that's what they require the secondary stun but that's fine for them s4 was still up the lane and zai with this fresh blink this dagger is okay so male is going to go for the stun they relocate him for roshan and the damage from Martini is so intense roshan's already down and the cheese that long animation, the split earth stun, and secret, this is their best opportunity to win the shmall gonna pick off. Some male already used the stun, the Yule set the up, blink dagger one second, now he comes down, the stuns and the damage from Arteezy, some male can take a lot, the fissure can't find the space. 30 seconds on the sideline and PPD, he's lost it, he forced out and blink dagger up to try and get close enough for this echo slam damage, no follow up stun, he's down for the count, 60 seconds, but more importantly, that oldie's down for two minutes, but look pretty critical here on the radiant side we only have razor and the last rack who have buyback the rest are actually just a little bit separate he's up so far Zai's coming in with the women they're trying to kill our puppy and they are going to isolate him at the same time Zai not make it easy they snowball in ppd echo slam is available and maybe he can survive no he can't tp out in time the last two the no coming in some mail needs oh, more women are crazy actually locked up by early 2000 now Zai will trigger off the cheese they have down or can dazzle on that ball he doesn't want to buy back he's in the line he's still locked in and then storm ball they get the control the snowball is chasing up the flying rat but it's not gonna be up off fear battling up against the rest of secret the snowball up fear and gets rid of the sigils it can freely move with the shot he's still locked him in so now comes back in again with universe sorry howie on the front line the jeeva's got by the space and fear actually that's time he's draining the damage 168 points that's easy locked inside the snowball he's holding him in but where's the sun they go to fear some mail Pulse Nova, Zai's gonna go down! He's so low, the Glimmer came! They see him with the Sentry Ward! They've got him down! s 4 trying to push in the middle lane in the meantime, and Arteezy adding pressure on him. The PC is a level 2 coming in. That's the mail on the back of Universe, setting up for S4. If they can get this pick off, it's a huge window of opportunity, and there's gonna be the denial through the Bloodstone, but that's still 43 seconds. But again, unless they want to go for a pickoff play at the Blink Dagger Scythe of Ice reveal, which it seems like that's the play here. This is very risky, though, because they don't have any buyback. Secret actually have all of theirs, and they should kind of know with the way that Samael, Secret... There it is. Blink Dagger, Scythe of Ice, and Puppy dead on the stun, Pulse Nova. They can't through the dazzle. He still has buyback. All of Secret have buyback.
But it looks like EG are ready to push down the bottom lane. Yeah, Evil Geniuses may just stumble into a bad play here. Secret, with all those buybacks, probably can win the fight. And if EG do not get enough kills, don't manage to get buyback gold for some of these heroes, or still left with timers. Secret can then just five-man down middle, potentially take a full lane of racks. Here they come, fortification triggered. They'll protect the racks with a fidget on S4, follow up some by some mail, not going to work. There was a four-star for the safety by S4. And with the Glimmer Cape, you can move back to front lines. Fear already on those front lines. Being punched, punched around by the Walrus Punch, but now he to embrace him up, so Fear locked in, controlled. Here, can he actually get back out? Maybe not. There's all the Martins. He can't actually do anything. He's down. 120 seconds on the sideline, but the Bison can bring him back up in time. But then Fear, he's still just standing on the front lines, doing the work. Puppy, now he'll drop in. a triple buyback, a quad buyback, in fact, from Secret. Universe trying to give this life back, and then we'll Oh, by RTZ. This He's is trying to have another play. play. On fear. There's just no way to kill him just yet. Maybe now. Lock him in with the shards. In they come for the walrus punch, but he have four stopped away. Find the opening to back the mail. Puts a slow up. They dive in with the Icarus. In the Shivas as well. Heads four too slow. And with a salt, we're gonna lose the Zeus. Heads four down for the count. He has buyback available, or he can wait the one minute. At the same time, by the time he TP's in, that's exactly the same time oh, Roshan's yeah. born. If Secret are capable of winning this fight, they can get back in by taking a quick Roshan. That's a big if. Force the buyback and then back away to Roshan. Maybe the best play, but there Secret are going to be able to get this fight. It looks like they're Where's finally getting initiation. Fia still on the front line. There's just a little bolt. Fia down a half line. They got a lightning bolt. Fia have to be embraced up pretty early here. And Zyre to keep him, and there's the jump in, Walrus punch on Samel, they're very low on the cause, Samel backing up, remember, this buyback is not available for him for another minute, so they can pick him off, they have a big opening, the Lightning just try and slow him down if possible, high shot, off call that, right, lock him in, they found now oh, he's a big one, crammed down, 1400 on the damage, and then an isolated Nova, they can't get rid of this Phoenix, and they're going to, down for the count, double kill for RT, Samel will be able to TP out in line, DVD as well, Kick off, they How's he doing this in the mid? He wants to jump off to res four, buy more space, but why with the snowball available? Fear's gonna come back in. Zai is losing life so quickly. He's down, no buyback. That's a hundred second window opened up by us with a weave. At least gonna drop down some mail as well as Fear's armor. The ice has come in, and with Zai, well, he wants a snowball. It's more of a fear thing right on him, and then they embrace him up. Some mail still here on the front lines. Have you coming a little bit closer as Fear is still the only sole tank, but they get rid of the melee racks, but Fear isolated by the shot. Have to be forced off the win. Out comes RTD on a Samel. He brought him down. 45 seconds on the sideline. Wants to fight more. Blink like a still on cooldown. The shards come up. They get the vision of It'll definitely be a factor. There's no denying that, but it's just not the same as when you used to have an extra slot on your carry. You can give him the agent. They're going to have to give the just away to someone else. It will be S4, and sure yep. enough, the now Zai, Snowball's also available. He can buy himself some time, and there it is again. It's all about wasting time while Samael is chasing down up the puppy. They will lose Zion River, and puppy will go down to Samael. Two down for secret. EG, open up the window. Hands up, but then again, Zai tossing his Samael up, and then He's also got space to move, and they just saw PPD plant down the aggressive ward. They'll get rid of this as quickly as they can. They do not want to have EG having any kind of superiority with Vision to Mail. Drops by Half Life. The Storm Ball stopping PPD from getting that Fissure off as well. RTZ got to be careful. Hands up, but then again, Zai tossing Hoots to Mail up, and the Nora perfect position on EG. They can't get rid of this. They'll have to take the Storm Ball. PPD just jumps in. The Storm Ball being there, transfers in space from Universe. Secret, there is the fight of Martins, but Poppy caught outside the base, and Telegrave can't do enough. Hands fall. Oh, they need to cheat and keep Buffy alive a little bit longer and feed Laura, but then he gets easy, can't read fear, embrace up again, he's trying to reach him, one hit, he can't even do that, they have to come back inside the base, and four for the jump in by Samal, where's the damage, there it is from RTZ, some will be there, but then he gets Samal, the buyback, they're using economy to win this game universe, that's what Samal will be onto, directly on the hero, S4, back under the team for Towers, Koro, 
the save. He's keeping it for alive. The Stormball as well. They drew him in deeper. The top break still up. Relocate up. That's he pulling him in closer towards the fight. Buyback is still about to mess forward up. Stranded. Possibly dead. Goro is still there, but he's dropping quickly. But it's too much damage. EG. They let to take another right. GG. GG. EG will take it. 65 minutes and an epic battle. They take game one of the five of the grand final. This is exactly the way this best of five is supposed to be worked. Evil Genius is throwing hero after hero in an all-in play at top to finish out this game, and there was just nothing Secret could do with this kind of draft. They fought so hard, but unfortunately, when pushed this late, Evil Genius' draft, man.